Okay, so I'm just going to explain my interpretation of Nakajima's edge pairing. So, what happens is you're trying to uh, pair the edges, four edges, then put them on the top using only the uh, the edges available from the middle layer and the uh, the top layer. So you're not doing any D moves. Supposedly that's faster, right? So once you're done doing the four of them, you can flip it over, do the rest on the other side. So let's begin. So you're just going to uh, find a pair that can sort of match. So right here, without doing any set of moves, you can see that it's orange and blue, and then there's an orange and blue here. So you just have to uh, slice it. You've got this pair here. And now next is you're just going to try to replace any. Uh, this one with any uh, of these on the top or even the ones on the east slice that will pair with one of these in the east slice so see how it's green and yellow and then there's green and yellow here again so you're going to bring that to the top and uh, since this has to be yellow so that when you move it here it will become yellow and this is on the top then when the sticker is on the top you're just going to do an R if the sticker is on around the side here you're going to do an F move Okay, so now I uh, prime. So you got okay here, and then there's really not much I can think of right now. So you can see one right here on the back is orange and yellow. And now uses an orange and yellow. So when you remember when you slice, it's got to be yellow right here, right? So you get in your head. Now the yellow is on the side; it's not on the top. So you can either to move it so that it's right um, beside it and then you do F R prime F prime R right or and be shorter you can do an F and then move it to this position and then down depending on what you like and then you slice again now you notice that before you slide it, it's going to be orange and white so now there's an orange and white right here, so you just conveniently, again, has to be an orange here and orange on the side, so you're going to have to do an F to bring that edge slot up and then replace it. Put it back. And then you need one more. Now, conveniently, the uh, red one is already solved, so I'm just going to uh, replace it because there's, none of these really pair up with any of the ones in the end middle slice okay, so now we got four of them and an soft one here so you flip it over okay. again you can either um, look for this one and then replace it with this one so again has to be red here so red is on top so you just bring it down slice and um, I see that uh, this is white and green, so and then the same thing is right here. So I just gotta bring it down here. So once it's in this position already, I just have to do the uh, and slice. Then I can really see this one here, um, blue and red, and the blue and red here. So again, it has to be red here. The red is on the um, front though, so I'm just gonna do the F move. And then pair. Got one more. Now this is probably where it does it really bad. So now you see this red has to go here. So whatever edge I'm gonna re replace it with, it's gonna the red one's gonna come here. So inconveniently the red white is right here, so I'm just gonna replace it so that it's gonna be right here. And then when I slice it, I'm gonna get with the solve one. Slice. So now I'm only left with three unsolved edges so I can do that by solving two at a time and then the last one will just be solved so I can see here this one is already set up right I can just slice it now I, just, I need to bring this one out of the uh, middle layer so that I can insert this one back in to replace this and I will solve so I just do an I'll try and really it's not that complicated and you do you replace this one with blue and yellow so that it's just easy and you're fine with back and now you just solve with everything.